Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today we're talking 5 things that all sensors get wrong about intuitives. Those crazy, messy, chaotic goofballs. What I found is that sensing and intuition is on a spectrum, which means you get those people that go like straight up on the 99th uh, percentile of intuition, you know, the crazy scale, the top of the charts, pure madness <laughs> that you get on the other side of that scale. You get the 99th percentile sensors, you know, the pure normie personality type that just is what their environment wants them to be and nothing else. So sensing is very much about reality and intuition is very much about the imagination. And because most people tend to have poorly developed sensing or poorly developed intuition in that case, uh, that can lead to some projections and some insecurities about what intuition is. First of all, what I've noticed, the number one misconception about intuitives that sensors have is that intuition is anxiety. Oh, the reason why intuitives are constantly locked in a world of their own imagination is because they're anxious. They're just not feeling well, you know, their act of uh, creating new ideas or of thinking of new things or of wondering about what ifs or thinking about possibilities is because you're not happy. And if intuitives were actually happy, they would just enjoy the moment and they would just enjoy things the way they are. And so what you need to do as a sensor is you need to come to the intuitive you need to help them get back their happiness. You have to help them enjoy the present moment and you have to remind them of how great things have been for them and how good things are and how secure and safe they are and how comfortable everything is around them. They don't actually have to change anything. They should just be happy with what they have. However, this is a misconception because intuitives actually enjoy and get energy from the imagination. The reason they're thinking about possibilities is because they're feeling happy and the more happy and excited they are, the more intuitive they become, the more possibilities they think of, the more what ifs they come up with. Intuitives enjoy the process of coming up with new ideas and of thinking outside the box. And so for them, that's actually a sign of health. The second thing that I see that intuit that sensory types get wrong about intuition is that intuitives that they're crazy. I mean, uh, off the charts, mad, nuts, you know. <laughs> so what I'm seeing is a lot of the time sensors assume that uh, intuition is being out of touch with the real world. So anything that intuitives think of, any ideas that they have, any what ifs that they come up with are crazy because how can they prove that? They have no proof, no evidence that they're right. How did they make those connections? What leaps did they make? What? Why did they skip over so many details? Why did their idea... Uh, not base itself on the present reality, why are they not looking at the starting where I'm starting as a sensor? Because in sensor types tend to work themselves from the details and to greater and greater complexity, uh, a lot of times sensors tend to think that intuitives do things the wrong way. To start with complexity and then to start going down to the detail level, that's crazy, that's weird, why are you doing it like that? But in reality, actually, that's quite normal. As an intuitive, it's normal to start with complexity first. And so, certainly, intuition can be unhealthy and it can be crazy, but it's only unhealthy or only crazy if it never gets down to the details, if it never gets down to the physical. So intuition that is completely based outside of reality, intuition that has no examples, no proof or no claims that apply to the real world, that intuition is certainly a little bit loony. <laughs> but intuition that actually makes an effort to study and to explain what is and what has been, that kind of intuition can actually be really, really interesting. The third thing that intuitives, uh, that sensors get wrong about intuitives is that intuitives are somehow the reason why the world is so terrible. Actually, if we had no intuitives, if everyone was a sensor like you and if everyone thought the way you did, you know, the world would be so much better. Everyone would be more dependable and reliable. There would be no lies. People would be concrete and honest. People would just be what you see is what you get. Uh, you would have a dependable and reliable society where everything worked, trains would be on time, there would be no problems, you know. Uh, the thing is though, a world about without some uh, intuitives would certainly be a pretty boring world, wouldn't it, you know. Um, the fact is change will happen no matter if intuitives exist or not because the world is going to change and there are going to be consequences and new things happening all the time and we need intuitives to pick up these new things and new trends and new possibilities and to make them 
work. So intuitives are usually the people that pick up on new trends and new events and new changes that are happening in the world. And intuition emerged as an evolutionary adaptive response so that humanity as a tribe would be able to survive and handle new environments, travel, change, and the change of nature and scenery and environments. So without intuitives, that would be a lot more difficult, wouldn't it? The fourth thing that sensors get wrong about intuitives is that intuitives are lazy. Actually, to not pay attention to details, to not be consistent, to not follow through on your education is because you're lazy. And to not go out to parties, to not go out to the real world, to not go out and experience life firsthand, that's kind of lazy and sheltered and yeah. Uh, the thing is though, if you'd ask an intuitive to explain what they're doing instead, you know, to explain their chains of associations, the systems they're working on, the theories they come up with, the things that are happening inside their head, you'll notice that they put a lot of energy into this, you know, where you put your energy coin into going out into a real world or to uh, improving or expanding on your experiences or your current life. Intuitives put their energy coin into figuring things out and so they spend so much time in that process and they work so hard to come up with things and to understand things and to explain things and interpret new ideas and new things and new events. So that's where their energy coin goes and so we can't judge a person as lazy without looking at the full context of what they do. You can only not just judge an intuitive by their ability to engage in the sensory. You have to look at the context of what they do. The fifth thing the fifth thing that sensors get wrong about intuitives is that they don't understand you. If they would take the time to understand you as a sensor, they would get that you were right and they would listen to your advice and they would do things your way. And the reason why they don't do things your way is because they don't understand you. You know, the problem is actually on two sides and intuitives can have the same problem with sensors. However, this is something we need to think about. Just because people arrive at different conclusions does not mean that they don't understand you. And it's possible to develop a healthy sense of mutual rec uh, recognition and respect by understanding over time that what the intuitive does actually works. The intuitive doesn't listen to your advice, but they find a way to work things out their own way. And over time, if you have a colleague that's an intuitive and you're a sensor, you're going to find that, yeah, you're going to notice that this person, while they're leaps might sound a bit crazy and far-fetched at times that their way actually seems to work for them and it actually seems to get results just as your result and your approach works for you their approach seems to work for them and so i found as an intuitive that i've been able to form some pretty strong bonds to sensors over time recognizing that their way of working is actually quite smart in their way but still not the way for me Mutual understanding doesn't mean mutual agreement, it just means mutual understanding. That means understanding that they are who they are, and you are who you are. Did you agree with this video? What are your thoughts on intuitives and sensors, and what are your misunderstandings that you've experienced with these two types? Feel free to check out my video on 5 things intuitives misunderstand about sensors, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the video.